good day everyone and welcome back to Mr. Fish tutorial so today our topic is just a continuation of our discussion about uh, basic construction activities in geometry and on the previous videos that we have we already discussed the three uh, basic construction which is copying a segment copying an angle and bisecting a segment so today we're going to our fourth video of our tutorial series which is how to bisect an angle so again in the algebra website right here so the link is on the description if you want to uh, if you can join us in doing these activities that will be great so the link for this classroom is on the description below so click on it enter your name and just start doing your activities so just like <clears throat> the same pattern of what we have on our previous videos the steps or the instruction on how to do the construction for this particular figure is on the top of our applet the algebra applet <clears throat> okay so this is our task number four and how to bisect a segment uh bisect an angle sorry so we're going to bisect a segment so when we say bisect again on geometry we're going to divide this angle into two equal parts so it means we will have two angles on this given angle which is which has 120 degree angle measure so when we bisect it we will have two angles that are 60 degrees as their measurement okay so using the following tools up here we're going to bisect this given segment so let's begin our construction so first step is using the tool that says circle with center true point we're going to create a circle that will intersect intersect the two sides of your angles of your angle so from the center or using the center using the vertex of the angle as the center of your circle so click on it and we'll stretch our circle so that it will intersect the two sides of our given angle then we will mark those intersection so we got two intersection right there then what we're going to do next using those intersection or intersection we're going to create two circles that have the same size using again circle with center true point so I'm going to use this in a uh, point first so click on it and then stretch up to, until you passes through the vertex of your angle oh yeah of your angle so I got one circle so I'm going just to copy this circle to the other intersection so using this tool right here compass mark or it is to the center and as you can see it's just equal circle and I'm going to put it on that intersection that we have earlier then we will mark where those two circles intersect right there and another one right there then what we're going to do next is we're going to connect the intersection of those two circles that is inside your angle to the vertex of your circle of your i mean of your angle all right so using the ray tool going to connect the vertex of the angle going to the intersection of the two circles that we just constructed that it's inside of your angle then to verify if we really so now that ray is the angle bisector of our given angle okay again the ray that we constructed up here is the angle bisector of our given angle whose measure is 120 degrees so to verify if we really get the correct measurement or we already or we really bisected the given angle 
So using the angle tool from this point going to the vertex to the third point and that measure 60. So from this point going to the vertex and to the other point and that's also measure 60. So as you can see 60 plus 60 is equal to 120 which is our uh, which is our original angle which is 120 degrees so 60 again plus 60 equals 120 and that gives us the measure of the original given angle okay so that is how we construct a bisector of a given angle okay so let's do a quick recap so let's put it in here two circles a circle first using the vertex mark all those intersection create another circle using one of those intersection that passes through the vertex of your given angle then copy that circle to the other intersection mark all the intersection of those two circles that we just created using the ray tool connect the vertex to the intersection that of the two circles then we have the bisector of the angle then let's measure the angle that we created to verify if we if we really bisected the given angle so we got 60 and 60 that equals when you add them up that equals 120 and we successfully bisected the given angle whose measure is 120 degrees by 60 and 60. So if we're going to move this vertex right here, as you can see, wherever we look, put it, it's still the same measure and it will equal to the measure of the angle that we have on the inside. <clears throat> okay, so that's all that we have for today. I hope you learn something from me today again on the basic on the jump uh, on the branch of math which is geometry so again all the videos of our previous discussion about basic construction can be seen on the description below or towards the end of our video for today so i hope to see you again next time and thank you for watching